Hey guys, welcome back to our Blimp series. Uh, we're on episode 14 now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, do some modifications, because we do, we do have 4.6k, and I'd like to spend some of that. <laughs> um, so I'll go ahead and do that, see what kind of changes we can make, and then hopefully we'll get ourselves in a couple of fights and score some resources. So I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. That was a bit of a building time. So welcome to our new APS cannon. Um, I only have one of them. I want two. I want one on either side. But for now, this is what we have. So we're using an AA mantlet. That way it's, it can aim up and down. It's attached to a 360 turret. And hopefully it won't get blown off. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're actually just going to hop all the way down here. Make sure that the turret itself is on the correct slot. I just want to see if we can make it rotate around, which it appears we can nicely. So that is our new turret. Um, it fires four, me four meter shells. In particular, let's take a look down there. Boop. Yeah, so four meter shells. They aren't amazing, they're just solid warheads. They're just gonna thunk into people, hopefully, rip chunks out of them. So that's the entire plan with the APS. Oh, I heard reloading, and it wasn't me. Which hopefully means somebody is nearby. But I'm not seeing anything, so who knows? Maybe it was just that thing finally loading up. Um, so the big issue with it is its fire rate is incredibly show, slow at 1.9 RPM. So I'm definitely going to have to get it another auto loader. For now, I just got the one just to A, test it out, and B... Um, we're, we're kind of low on money. So hopefully it can shoot somebody out of the sky. If it does that, uh, that would be great. I'm also going to go ahead, because I need to pull this off. It doesn't serve any function. I was originally planning a different type of bracket for this thing, but yeah, it just didn't work out. So I'm just going to go ahead and just boop this down. That way we've got a matching bracket on that side. Uh, and yeah, let's go find us an enemy. I'll be right back as soon as I do. Alrighty then, we have a little control module that will warn us when enemies spawn. <laughs> oh, that's kind of fun. That's hilarious. Okay, so if an enemy spawns in... Uh, this one will immediately light up green. If it gets within 4,000 meters, green, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. So, we just have to wait for an enemy to actually spawn so we can test this thing. Um, oh, there's an enemy that just spawned in. It's due east of us. Uh, I'm going to turn this on just because it makes it easier to spot enemies, and that is a rat. Why Why is it all rats? Like, why can't I get something actually worth my time? I'm going to shoot him. I'm curious if we'll land a hit. Nope. So we are just waiting to see if any of these light up. Doesn't look like they are. All right, come on, can we hit him? Nope. Ooh, close, close. Oh, oh. I'm not sure if we bounced off him. Or the water. It was one of the two, though. 
Oh. No, it's a swing and a miss. Do not make me get the missiles. APS cannon, you need to land one hit. Just, yeah, we definitely need AI detection for this. That's what I'm thinking. And there is a resource down, so we're gonna, we're basically gonna be just flying over this rat and trying to shoot it <laughs> while we head to the resource zone. <laughs> okay. Nope. That's missed again. Okay. Come on. Nice. We hit him. We can land hits with our gun. <laughs> okay. Well, it seems to have hurt him severely. Let's see if we can hit him again. If I can take his little gun off, that would be ideal. Nope, that didn't help. Reload, reload. I want to shoot him again. Should be locked on. That did 3,000 damage, as I would like. Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh. That was a mess. Man. That's disappointing. It's kind of weird also that the enemy just didn't fight back. We are doing no damage at all. Uh, no, we shouldn't fire the missiles at him. That would be a bad idea. Ugh. Man, I don't like this cannon. It's inaccurate. And it fires very slowly. Makes me sad. <laughs> but like we did hit it for like 3,000 with that one shell that hit like that was one good hit for like 3k so like evidently this thing can hit really well also like to be able to steer from back here please nope why, why am I still shooting at this rat? Like, it evidently isn't going to harm us. It's just hanging out. The question is, how big of a resource zone is this? 1300. And another miss. Let's just stop shooting. This is a complete waste of our resources. <laughs> Oh man. Like, we need some big sloppy enemy to pop up so that we can kill it, get a bunch of resources. Because, like, we've been recording for 40 minutes and we've seen a rat and a resource out. That's it. It's all we've seen. Yeah, I think that we should invest in an RTG. All right, guys, it's official. We are so desperate for material. We're going to go capture that rat, like not kill and get the resources. Like we're going to jump off this thing, get down there, find its AI, shoot it, <laughs> take its 2000 resources for ourselves. Like nothing has spawned. Uh, I had to shut the jet engine off entirely. <laughs> I ended up adding some propellers just so that we could get some extra free movement like the sheer fact that nothing at all is spawning is insane 
And like, we're losing battery charge because the RTGs just aren't keeping up. So like, eventually, well, eventually we are just going to hit the water. Like that's just a thing. So we need material to get more RTGs to keep this thing up and flying <laughs> and potentially put the jet engine back online for a little while because we aren't moving very fast, which is causing no enemies to spawn. And yeah, it's just a cycle of we are, we are our craft is too poor to find other craft to fight. <laughs> So yeah, I'll be right back once we're, you know, boarding a rat. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever do that for resources. <laughs> if we capture it, we get, uh, you know, probably the 1700 after I managed to get its AI. Not even close. But that is a good enemy to see spawning in. I would much, much rather deal with one of those than 90% of the flying craft. Well, looks like the two of them are starting a little fight, so that's kind of a good sign. Well, I kind of wish it wouldn't move, because if it keeps moving, I'll have a harder time boarding it. <laughs> And I just want to make sure wherever this is, is a chair. There we go. All right, we're almost there. Are you kidding me? Come on. Well, we captured it. Well, we didn't capture it. We just killed it. We got 400. Uh, which I guess is better than how we were doing before. So let's go chase the, I think it's the Impaler, whatever that is. Not super sure how we're going to fight a Pulverizer. We're probably going to have to adjust these to be torpedoes and then put a ejector on them maybe that way they can clear the side of the ship or maybe just pull them off entirely there we go yeah if we just pull them off entirely i could just actually modify this shell a little bit so that it doesn't care nearly as much as the nose. Or the shell rear. Uh, Supercapitation. Ah, yeah, let's just do that. There we go. Uh, 
I thought I was supposed to remove the chance of it. Oh, these aren't the new shells yet. That's why. Question is, is there a way for me to just force it? Yeah, clear clips. There we go. So now we'll start loading the new ammo. And we can go ahead, try one of these shots out. Still inaccurate. It's just still highly inaccurate. We're not going to actually hit land hits. It's the big issue with this. All right, I'm going to go ahead do some changes. Because we have an APS on the left, I may as well install the missiles right now on the right. So we'll get that done. Uh, I think, yeah. Uh, small missile, medium. Yeah, let's just do mediums. Let's do super missiles. <laughs> torpedo, <laughs> torpedo, fins, and I think we'll do EMP just because of what we're finding right now in particular. Fuel tank. We can do one turn. So they last 40 seconds. We can increase our thrust up to about here. Considering the fact that we're dropping them from so high up, we can probably go like here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Three meter here, and I want an ejector for them. There we go. Oh, and I, of course, need to set it to weapon slot one. So, weapon slot one, aim at that thing. Aiming via one turn. That's 10,000 damage. That, uh, that's good. <laughs> wow, we actually hit with our little gun. I don't know where a torpedo is. Probably still falling into the air to be honest. Yeah, there it is. Just got in the water. And... Boop. Yeah, he's not having a good time. <laughs> it just so slowly falls. Oh, these missiles are terrible. Miss. Oh, there goes the missile, though. Boop. 
Oh, that thing's a weaponless now. There we go. Oh. Okay, we missed with that miss. Like, considering how much the first two did, one miss isn't bad. That that could be worse. That's a lot of damage. Like, seriously. Nice. Oh, not ready yet. <laughs> Swan dives. Ooh, we hit it in the belly. Nice. Oh, we missed that one. And that looked like a bounce. Bet's on any of this. Oh, wow. We actually hit with a couple of those. I am amazed. No, we're too close to aim with this properly now. This is actually just the most effective thing we, I can do. Just raining these down. Nice, that was a good hit. Nope. That's a dissector. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're being shot at. Okay, are you a boat? Is the question. Are you a boat? You seem like you might be a boat. Yeah, you're a boat, and you're worth 73,000. Well then. If this hits, it will be a miracle. Because, like, there's no chance. Yeah, no chance. Let's try and kill him. Uh, 
How are you still alive? Yeah, we're definitely going to have to upgrade our systems. Uh, and we're taking hits. Something of ours definitely got hit. All right, let's see exactly how far out from being hit he is. <sighs> Maybe we should switch these over to missiles instead of torpedoes because, um, yeah. <laughs> also, that is terrifying. Are those missiles going to go hit us? Yeah, no, we're switching over to missiles instead of torpedoes. Uh, boop. Uh, let's see. Active radar. Uh, variable thruster. I need. Let's go with 17 seconds. Why not? Uh, Copy it over to both. So let's go ahead. Fire them off. We need to go ahead and uh, now that these. Our missile, they need identify friend or foe because otherwise they're going to hit us. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to manage to jump that. But we can dream. <laughs> there we go. Alright, well, that's our first kill, guys. That was worth anything. And it was 12,000 resources. Perfect! Huh. See if we can get to him. No, it's like 4,000 meters. We are well out of range of that bastion. Also, are we in the water? Why are we in the water? What happened? Oh, we ran completely dry. I swear to God, Hearthstone. No, you're being moved. You're you're gonna be moved because otherwise you're gonna keep causing horrible problems. Ah, oh, I hate the Hearthstone. Like it's why does it explode? Like what? Goddamn sense does that make? Ah, I see you're running low on power right now. 
This is probably a component you keep uh, in with your power components. Let me just explode. It's like, why? Why does it explode? What benefit is there to that thing exploding? Like, all it does is it makes everything worse. Like, when things are already bad, you explode. And, oh, goddamn Hearthstone. This isn't going to do anything, even though I shoot at it. Eh, we are getting closer, I think. Yeah, even though we're getting closer, though, we're still way out of range of actually hitting the Bastion. Uh, where is it, even? Is that it? Huh. It is surprisingly close. As long as we're 31k. Where is the Pulverizer if I think that is 43k? But the Pulverizer is not a priority just because it is basically completely disabled. Like, there's nothing it can do. Versus the Bastion can shoot at us. And we can shoot at it. And that is another new enemy over there. Yeah, no, not enough fuel. Oh, well. That is a current worth 54,000. We're going to have a craft. Oh, oh, <gasps> we took out a block. This APS shell is worthless. <laughs> I, I really, really need to stop relying on that APS game. I should just get rid of it or redesign it to, you know, actually function. Oh, oh, that was so close. All right, let's shoot at you. Let's shoot at you. Don't know where that is or what it is. Oh, no, that was a current. All right, we already checked that out. Oh, here we go. Well, that seems to have done something. Yeah. Yeah, we blew it a lot of pieces. Huh. That thing is completely dead in the water. Yep, that's AI dead. Well, <laughs> unexpected. How much resource is he worth is the question. 3,500. Well, we'll go get it. We definitely want that. And while I travel, I'll take another pot shot at this guy. Oh, never mind. We'll take another miss at that guy. Can't even see the current over there. We know it's there, though. The question is, does it know we're here? 
Nope, it's doing donuts. It's busy. It has better things in its life than us. <laughs> That is some little tiny piece of junk. Oh, come on. Uh, that appears to be something that's shooting at us. Let's take a look at how far away it is with our missile. Four kilometers, so yeah, it's so far away that it can't hurt us, so we can't hurt it. There we go, we got our 3,000 materials. Well, we've got 7k to work with, quite a few enemies, none of which are particularly threatening. and a basically worthless APS cannon. <laughs> so let's go ahead and work on the basically worthless APS cannon. Um, I guess if I double its firing rate, the doubling its firing rate seems like it would help. The question is, does it? <laughs> Yeah, because that's 4 RPM. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. Pull that off. There we go. Oh, maybe it's not connected. Oh, this has to be connected here. There we go. Oh, I just have to make sure that I can still rotate this thing. That brings that up to 8 RPM. Yes, yeah, so this thing can rotate really. Perfect. All right. Um, and it looks like I do want to upgrade the cooling on this thing. Let's go ahead and put those two in properly. That's yeah, still that thing. Who is shooting at us? Is it you? Yeah, you're shooting at us. Fire back. Shoot back at him. Kill him. I want him dead. Preferably without all of that recoil, though. Yeah, we're getting close to him, so missiles. <laughs> that is looking more and more like a bigger battle that I may want to or need to get involved in to be precise. Nope, oh, still out of range. Probably in range now, but.
Yeah, you're getting missiles. To your face. <laughs> yep, he's melted. <laughs> Okay, what's going on over here? So we've still got, still have the pulverizer. Currently fighting a sea viper. Uh, still got the, whatever that is, I'm running in circles. Got 1400 materials over here to collect. Honestly, it's starting to feel more and more like get an AI time, but at the same time, I don't want to do that yet. <laughs> Just because I do want... Basically, I, I want to focus on getting our armor up as well as increasing the balloon size. Because the balloon is still tiny. Like, I don't feel comfortable with our current balloon. What is that? That's a martyr. We shouldn't mess with that. <laughs> oh wow, he finally finished his job. The likeliness of us actually landing a hit on this thing are terrible. Yep, <laughs> as predicted. <laughs> Yeah, let's get a little bit of recoil absorption. Just because it does seem to be proving to be an issue for us. No? Oh. Makes sense. Should probably... There we go. Quite a bit of a recoil absorption. No idea if it's enough, but it's better than what we had. Let's go ahead and take a shot at him. Nope. Oh, we also don't need the super cavitation base, so let's go ahead and take that off. Um, yeah, let's do solids. Still need an AI detection system for this thing to work. Tempted to pull it off, <laughs> but like it was kind of hard to build. I don't want to. I do want to take another shot at you. Boop. Not like there's just like no chance. Oh, oh. We we grazed him. Man, maybe I should switch those over to explosive shells. You know, just like. So that on the off chance they hit, like the enemy just gets like annihilated. That feels, no, not altitude fuses. That feels like what I should be doing. Um, yeah, high explosive head. There we go. I want you to clear all of your clips and start loading this new stuff. Oof. Oof. It's like, can I? Huh. Yeah, because like, if I do this, I want to explode at, explode above altitude. Yeah, I guess like, 300? Yeah, that seems like it would make sense. Uh, why is everything glowing so red? Is what I want to say, but I know why it's glowing so red. 
All right, let's take another shot at him. Did we pick up that material? We did. So. Nice. Even if we miss, we do some damage. Sweet. All right. Um, let us go over and get the pulverizer materials. So wild turn to the right. While we're at it, get a shot at him. Ooh, nice. This thing's working now. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, considering how slow we are, we should probably turn to the right, get that, and then go get that. <laughs> well, I should probably invest in thrust capacity a little bit. Honestly, I might just pull the pull the custom jet off entirely. Cuz I mean, like I don't see us starting to use it again. Which also means I don't see us using this again. So I can pull that off too. What is going on? Uh, so, in general, I guess if the goal, Okay, we need to balance that. <laughs> All right, guys, um, so I just saw this. There's a harasser, a charger that just spawned in. Yeah, I thought it I thought they were attacking the current, but they don't seem to be. Uh, they seem to be attacking a walrus who's currently also fired, fighting a, a geez, what is going on over here? 
<laughs> Harasser, charger, martyr, fighting a walrus while a current sits back and watches. Okay. Well, that is uh, interesting. There we go. So we have extended our airbag, which appears to be helping. Um, I don't know what just happened, but I'm taking advantage of and shooting at whatever is left. Uh, we are going to be heading over there for reasons that should be evident. Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay, okay, fine. Fine, you get missiles. You can have missiles. I'm sorry I underestimated you. I decided to just shoot the cannon at you. <laughs> we hit him with the cannon. Oh. Guys, that, guy, that thing had a nuke. Ooh. Okay, that had a nuke, and there is uh, 30,000 resources over there. We are, for obvious reasons, going to go get that. So, plan for the rest of the episode. Get this, get that, get these, go through the portal. So, that will be this episode. <laughs> <laughs> when we escape through the portal successfully. Because that is a lot of material and would go a long way to making this thing a lot better than it is currently. Because currently I am scared of all of the enemies. <laughs> but yeah, overall we didn't end up taking that much damage because I managed to shoot it down fast enough. So, that's good. Let's increase our thrust output though. Alt N. Now let's do that. Perfect. So that is another 3,000, or yeah, no, another 2,000 thrust. It should help significantly. Let's get another. Another 1,000 at least. And whatever that is, uh, it wants missiles. Right, APS cannon isn't set to aim that high up in the air. I am very curious what your plan is. What are you and what are you doing? Yeah, it can outrun our missiles. 
fun. Well, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Like it's just kind of hanging out. So, we do need to turn that way though. And with that, let's see if we can't get it. Yeah, I need to increase the thrust on these missiles if I want to hit this thing. So, let's go ahead and do that. Takes forever to move downwards. 3,000. Throw a extra fuel tank in, and we'll switch this over to a turning thruster. Uh, let's see. Copy to both. All right, three, two, one, here we go. Um, what? Why are you aiming at that? I want you to aim at the big one that I was aiming you at. Great. Should probably switch the little should talk should probably switch the APS over. Yeah, let's what? Hold up, hold up. What happened? We just blow part of our yeah, we just blew part of ourselves up. Great. <laughs> Well, the current seems to have given up on us, which is a good thing, I guess. Okay, so... Yeah, so we're headed this way. Which is kind of scary, considering the fact that, yeah, whatever a Sacro Lego is, is over there. Okay, that is, that seemed and sounded like a big hit. Yeah, that almost blew the balloon off. Uh, Well, we hit that thing pretty hard. That's a good sign. Jeez. Oof. 
That's going to do some damage. Yeah, we need to kill this thing. Like, quickly. Because otherwise, we're going to keep taking damage. Okay, I need to put some controls up front front because honestly, I can't see what I'm aiming at. Jeez, like, this doesn't sound like they're doing a lot of damage, but like, it's, I don't like it. Stop. <laughs> I'll figure out where the single missile batteries are. No, don't shoot at me. Then shoot me. Oh, wow. The UK, well, we're not firing the APS anymore, apparently. It's entirely offline. Okay, this thing can't have that many more EMP hits it's capable of taking. I think we took its missile systems offline, which is good. and something I'm very happy about. And we don't seem to be losing altitude or anything, which is wonderful. Yeah, that's EM. That's a surge protector. We are breaking surge protectors currently. Which is kind of good kind of terrible because <laughs> if we're breaking surge protectors that means we're basically being countered yeah that didn't find any thing to actually even hit great Yeah, it might be time to switch the missiles off of EMP. So let's go ahead and pause time while we do that. Not pause, but at least slow it down. Probably switch this back to a fin, lower the thrust down to that. There we go. That should help. Uh, can we not shoot at the current? I'd really like to shoot at the Sacralego. <laughs> Jeez. Great. Great. 
That's a lot of hits. Is that even like that looks big? Oh, it's just a patchwork. That's fine. Okay, we are completely out of resources. Great, just wonderful. Well, let's see if we can manage to charge this thing. Great. Okay. We need materials. You are all victims. Jeez, come on. Come on, we just gotta get up in the air again. Or at least facing the enemy. Where is the sacrilege? Where did it go? Like, I don't even see it. Like, yeah, it's just straight behind us. We somehow got turned around while I was doing construction. Come on. Let me back on. God. Okay. You are not going to be useful. Just cut them off. Get the resources back. Get us up in the air. Where is he shooting from? God, like, just anything. Like, I just, I cannot repair this faster than it's getting wounded. Oh, my God, come on. There we go. Okay. You... Torpedo, torpedo, no, torpedo, that, 
Where is he? Over there. Go get him. A Jacob Scorn. What's that? Okay, is that thing coming over to help us? Well, if it was, it's going to die. <laughs> okay. Would like to have any controls at all, please. Controls, please. Yeah, I think I just shot the Jacob Scorn successfully. Great. Okay, can we please sink this horrible creature? No, that did like nothing. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Okay, seriously, come on physics. Just work with me. Just work with me for a little bit here, physics. Okay, we're rotating around towards the Sacralego. Well, we seem to be maybe getting reoriented. Perfect. Come on. Great, our decoy's gone. And that did all of nothing by the looks of it. Okay, we're flying now. That's good. God, that thing is so armored. Like, it's actually kind of insane how armored that thing is. Please stop shooting me. Stop. We definitely hit him with the missile. If we can get rid of that turret, like that is, that is the big issue. No, <laughs> no more, <laughs> no more of whatever you're doing. Okay, 
we need to just go in our chair. Boop. Unpause time. And that should be a dead Sacralego. Or at least dying. Oh, is it captured? No, it's not captured. Like, yeah, this thing's just being, like, utterly devastated. All right, you're being scrapped. A hundred percent. We do need a lot of material storage for that, though. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. Um, yeah, no, these are heavy. 360, 4,000. Gonna have to go ahead and get a lot more storage than we have. So let's just line the bottom of the hull. Okay, so main goal, portal. Like that is the main that is our current main goal. Primary goal, portal. With an emphasis on survive <laughs> until portal. After we get that, that is. Because if we can get that, yeah. Get this, get this, go here. Life goals. <laughs> yep. And we need more material storage stuff. There we go. So let's go ahead, do an AI. Uh, here, I guess. We're not doing a whole lot with it. It's just going to be bombing run for now and ship or tank. <laughs> and all we're doing, fleet mode. Go here, then go here. That's all we're doing. Got a grouper behind us, and then the two currents. Huh. 
Ah, uh, yes, I forgot we lost the APS cannon. Are you still a torpedo? You're still a torpedo. Go copy them both. Would you stop shooting at me? Like, I just don't want to be shot at. How hard is that idea? Be dead. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a staggered fire add-on. And this. Shoot him. Why are you possibly going for the patchwork? Oh, whatever. This thing is going the right direction, so. Nope, they're. Well, that's a good thing. That's a pretty decent hit. Anything else that we're seeing? Not really. Let's shoot the grouper. Why shoot the grouper? Because I want to. <laughs> no, never mind. We're going to shoot the patchwork. I mean, like, we're going to shoot at the direction of the patchwork. We're not actually going to hit it, though. You know, because it's massively out of range. Like, literally, it's so far out of range that it's actually kind of ridiculous to even try and aim at. Oh, well, though. We're not in any danger. Perfect. So now we are just headed Moving out. to that portal, I'm pretty sure. Well, we could maybe hit that one. That might be easier. Just rather than knocking ourselves out of the sky.
No, nah, we'll go for this one here. It's because it is closer. I mean, like, all we gotta do is just to boop. Uh, ship. Ship, is it this bad? Without our helium, are we this bad? Okay, okay, okay. Fine. We will not do that then. If it's that terrible. Question is, are we going to hit the portal or not? What do you guys think? Will we hit the portal? Let's find out. We hit it. All right, turn the helium back on. Turn it back on. On, 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 on. <laughs> Get outside of the water. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We have a massive reconstruction project to handle right now um 128,000 resource is a ton like that is that is going to be a big episode change especially with the fact that we went through a red portal and not a blue portal so we are going to be on a time limit to do that build so uh definitely check in next episode for part three of this blimp series and yeah 